make it three. I'm going for the St. Louis now. Oh, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> you get your two? <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thoughtgore here, of course. Today we've got two ranked battles we're going to take a look at. Now, I know I put up a ranked battle video yesterday, and um, normally I, I don't necessarily like putting up the same type of thing two days in a row. Um, it's just simply because yesterday, all day long, I played ranked battle. I only got to rank 11, <laughs> but I played ranked battles all day yesterday. And then at night, I uh, just grinded out my more experience on my Ibuki, because I have the money for the Zao now. Yes, I've got the 20 million saved up. Uh, I think I'm 45,000 experience away from the Zao, so that's what I was doing yesterday on ships. Uh, and by the way, a shout out to some of the people that I did actually meet in battles yesterday who said hello to me. You know, hello guys, thank you so much um, for, you know, just saying hello. Uh, and as well, thank you guys so much for sticking around, you know, and being a subscriber to the channel. Very much appreciated. Now, in the battle. So. Obviously, I'm in my Mogami, um, and you know, a nice thing about these two battles we're going to see is, some of you have asked, you know, Thakkar, why do you take the Mogami over the Otago, or why do you take the Mogami over the Miyoko? Well, hopefully, these two videos that we're going to take a look at today will explain that, because <laughs> I love this Mogami. I, this is a great ship, but anyway, anyway. Um, the team has decided that we are going to be focusing on A this battle, so okay, that makes sense to me. Um, we're focused on A, but... Look how busy it is over here, and just not looking good right now, right? I mean, as a cruiser, I can't get in here. I, I can't go too much closer than what I am right now. I don't want to have to deal with enemy destroyers, um, you know, torpedoing me from a very close range. And on top of that, I don't want to have to deal with enemy battleships, right? In a cruiser, your battle battleships are the bane of your existence. You cannot... Um, expect to survive against a battleship if you're you know putting broadsides to them if you're in real close right it's just not going to happen the flat sides of this Mogami just have Citadel painted all over them so you really have to be careful so A is pretty contested A doesn't look too good uh, my team is continuing to B so okay alright we are going B now <laughs> I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna go in there I'm not gonna try um, to take the point. Now, it'd be completely different if I had a lot more of my ally ships who were actually sticking around A to help out and take A, but we don't have that, right? Most of the ships are headed to B, so I'm not going to stick around and try and take A on my own or in conjunction with, say, another destroyer. It's too early in the game for that. Um, the enemies have not lost any ships as of yet. We have lost a destroyer already. And on top of that, the enemies are in an excellent position to defend A at this time. So, not doing it. Just not going to happen. So, we continue over here to B. Now, you can see I do have a number of friendly destroyers in and around me. There are some cruisers nearby as well. So, that is fantastic. Um, obviously, we've got or a number of allied destroyers, I think is what I meant to say. But anyway, obviously, we also have enemy destroyers by as well, right? I just dodged some torpedoes. Um, I'm going to come around the little island here. This is a risky maneuver to do, by the way. So, you know, when you are trying something like this, especially on fault line, no, this is north, especially on north, <laughs> when you're over here and you're coming around this little island, be very, very careful. Um, you know, there most likely there's going to be something on the other side of that island just waiting for you to come around to launch your torpedoes most likely. Doesn't happen all the time, obviously. So we managed to cap B, fantastic. Enemy in the meantime is still trying to take A. You'll notice that my like my bigger ships, my battleships and whatnot, they actually managed and actually did stick around A and are still, you know, putting pressure on A. So the enemy actually hasn't been able to cap the A point. So fantastic. This isn't going too bad. Now normally I would have expected this to just be a flop, right? Every, my team, I expect, would just fold and we would lose, especially considering we don't have that much coordination going on right now. Saving grace for us in all of this is the enemy's commitment to A, right? They are unwilling to change their plans. Uh, they want A. That's that's what they're focused on. That's what they want. So they're not, you know, paying attention to B over here. I've got two destroyers over here as well that are easily going to be able to slip by and start putting shots or torpedoes into enemy battleships. Um, and then there's myself, right? I'm shooting at these guys from the side, well, side to them. 
And uh, they're not even firing back because they're just too focused on the allied ships I have at A. So this is working really, really well for us right now. You can see two North Carolinas off in the distance. Both of them are more or less focused here on A. The North Carolina that I'm shooting at is getting a little smart, right? Realizes, hey, what's going on over here? So these turrets are turning towards me. Maybe you'll try and take a shot off at me. North Carolina in the background also took a shot off at me. And then you can see that the North Carolina I was shooting at took shots as well. I get really lucky in that I was able to maneuver and dodge the incoming shot so fantastic uh, because you know just a few shots from North Carolina a few well-placed shots a few citadels I'm dead <laughs> so that worked out really well um, and I mean for the most part this maneuver that I'm doing here is pretty risky right um, the only support I have coming around this island here is my two destroyers if the two destroyers and I can't do this uh, we're screwed <laughs> so gotta try and play it a little careful um, I still have enemy ships, you know, con or sorry, allied ships contesting A, so that is good. Um, I have a New Orleans over here, but you'll notice that my destroyers are all over this, so kudos to my destroyer captains. They were just all over that. Launching torpedoes off the New Orleans right away. You'll notice as well that my team, you know, we only have three ships left, right? There's myself, there's a battleship, and there's our destroyer, so, alright, we got to uh, play a little safe. You know, not take too many chances. I'm moving in behind some cover right now because we still do have some battleships to deal with. And I'm not necessarily willing to just charge out there and, and uh, you know, start firing in on them like that. And you'll notice, too, I've got an enemy cruiser here who's chasing me down, right? So we're going to need to deal with that guy as well. Managed to set fire to one of the North Carolinas. That is fantastic. I'm coming in around the island now using it as cover. Not necessarily as cover against the battleships, more as cover against the enemy cruiser that I launched my torpedoes at. Now those torpedoes are all going to miss but it doesn't matter because it's going to cause the enemy cruiser to maneuver and get himself out of position, right? He sees me. We're going to see him shortly. He's going to pop up. There he is there. Enemy New Orleans. So we need to start dealing with this guy. Uh, New Orleans is actually a pretty significant threat uh, to a, um, well, you know, just to cruisers in general, or, or just in general. New Orleans is a good cruiser. Um, she's not necessarily the most uh, flexible cruiser, or the most mm, distinguished cruiser, we'll say. Now, not historically, obviously, just within the game. Um, however, that being said, there are, you know, diehards who love their New Orleans trucker, one mad trucker is one of them, he loves his New Orleans, and like I say, you know, it's not a bad ship, um, I just don't play it often enough to, um, to actually, you know, get used to it, I guess, um, it's sitting in my port, just don't use it that often, <laughs> anyway, torpedoes are on the way out for the New Orleans, hopefully I'm going to get that guy, we've got the enemy destroyer over there off to the port side, so we're going to start putting shots into this guy immediately, try and do whatever damage we possibly can, those looks like some good shots there yeah that wasn't too bad at all still have uh, the enemy New Orleans somewhere in and around uh, the center there you can see it was hidden by smoke managed to get a few torpedo hits on the New Orleans now the New Orleans is sinking right he's taking on water there we go earn myself a high caliber fantastic um, and I find that when I earn myself high calibers in these games with the Mogami generally it's not because of the damage that my guns are doing it's the um, the fire damage and the flooding damage that is adding up for me anyway. Um, the guns on my Mogami are mainly used anti-destroyer and to set fires, right? That is what I use them for and that is why I love the Mogami <clears throat> in ranked battles because there are so many destroyers in ranked battles. Your Mogami is an excellent excellent ship to take those destroyers out. I've got my Mogami set up here for destroyer hunting, so fantastic. Uh, on top of that, there are a crap ton of battleships in ranked battles, right? Obviously. Um, and the Mogami comes into play here because you can set fires to these battleships quite easily, yes. Uh, and by doing that, uh, you know, you're, you're just earning more experience, getting doing damage, and getting those guys gone. Destroyer pops up. So we knew this guy was over here. I'm debating with myself right now, do I want to hunt down this guy, or do I want to stick around, uh, maybe cap A, 
and help with the North Carolina, right? That is what I'm grappling with right now. Enemy Destroyer just launched all his torpedoes at me, so I know that he's reloading. Don't really have to worry about his torpedoes at this time. We're going to speed our ship back up because you'll notice I did stop um, once I saw the torpedoes coming to make sure that I was able to maneuver around them because I really don't want to take a torpedo hit right now. Um, I don't have that much health, right? Half health. And so a well-placed torpedo, it could kill me. At the very least, it's going to do a whole crap ton of damage. Enemy Destroyer pops up once again. There he is. So we're going to start putting fire into this guy, try and get this guy gone, and see what we can do then about the North Carolina, right? Uh, my team is winning. We did manage to take it back after, um, you know, it was only three of us remaining. Um, we managed to kill enemy ships, so now it's just the battleship destroyer, the Hatsuaru in North Carolina we're looking at now uh, to kill. So that's not too too bad at all. And I still have one battleship remaining with me, so excellent, excellent. Feeling pretty good about our chances here. As long as I can kill off this destroyer, then I can immediately switch to the enemy battleship and start helping my friendly battleship take that guy out. Enemy destroyer, though, is being a little crafty. So I'm not able to get some finishing shots into him. Oh well, I'm in here now. I'm capping a um, enemy destroyer, right? I'm not going to take the time to chase this guy down because at the end of the day, the game is about the cap points. Um, and so I'm going to move in here, cap A, defend A. Because at this point in time, the only thing the enemy destroyer can do is run away and try and take B from us. Doesn't matter if he takes B because we'll still have A at the time. Um, so not too concerned about it. I shoot off torpedoes at the enemy North Carolina. You can see them on the way there. Uh, you can see the enemy North Carolina duking it out with my battleship as well. I put whatever shots I could into the North Carolina, but I do decide mm, maybe we'll actually hunt down this destroyer. Because uh, it looks like my friendly battleship back there is doing, you know, not a, no, no issues against North Carolina at all, so that's not too bad. That's pretty good. Um, and I figure that the enemy destroyer, or I figured the enemy destroyer would be going down the little channel over here on the east, or sorry, on the west, but it turns out, no, he's heading towards the east, heading towards B, so okay, we know this because of the direction that his torpedoes came from. So immediately turn my ship, and we're going to drive over to, or rather, we're going to sail <laughs> over to the B point, right? Um, slowly make my way over there. Get my guns and my turrets turned around, so I'm not going to be able to take shots off at the destroyer if he pops up. But I'm still watching the situation over here between the battleships, right? If I can get a few more hits into this North Carolina, set them on fire, that'll go a long way to help my battleship as well. <clears throat> You'll notice that the torpedoes I launched at the North Carolina, all of those missed. Yes, so they all missed, uh, so I don't... Didn't, didn't do any damage there. Eh, not too bad. Uh, hopefully, at the very least, torpedoes came in and caused the North Carolina to maneuver, which opened up a nice chance for my battleship to get some hits in, right? That is the hope. So putting shots into the North Carolina, you can see the North Carolina is returning fire. He fired from his rear turrets. I've got more torpedoes coming in, so again, the enemy destroyer is about... Uh, now we can see the enemy torpedoes coming in. I'm cutting my throttle because I really don't want to hit this torpedo. Ah, oh, I managed to hit it. Damn. <laughs> it was pretty close though. Pretty close. Um, luckily as well, you know, repair party was all ready to go. So all the damage has stopped. I'm not flooding anymore. And I'm still alive. So that is good news. More shots into the North Carolina. Maybe we can get this destroyer found and take him out. That's the hope, anyway. If I can just take out this destroyer, might actually win it as well for us in terms of points. Um, while all of this is happening, though, you know, North Carolina, put shots into him. There. Enemy destroyer pops up. Okay, we're going to start dealing with this guy. He's not getting away this time. I am going to take this guy down. <laughs> His little reign of terror is over. Uh, and I want the victory here, right? So, immediately start putting shots into the Hatsuaru. There he goes. Takes a few shots, so do a bit of damage. Fantastic. He's launched more torpedoes at me. Managed to dodge the first spread. Second spread is incoming as well. There it is there, but not a big deal. Easily able to avoid this. Now, there, my secondary batteries are firing, right? Because he's within secondary battery range. And there we go. Managed to kill him. Secondary battery got the shot off and landed it. And that killed the enemy Hatsuaro. Fantastic. Now it's just the enemy at North Carolina to go. So, <clears throat> gonna turn my ship. I'm gonna try and uh, not expose broadsides to him because, frankly, one salvo from this North Carolina and I am dead. 
don't need to worry about it, however, battle is over. Yes, we won. So taking a look at overall results here for the battle, didn't go too bad at all. You can see rank 11. Uh, I think this was the victory that I earned rank 11, maybe. Anyway, 348,000 credits, high caliber, 4,100 experience, not too shabby at all. Top of the team overall. Um, you know, enough damage done anyway to get the high caliber, so that's not too bad. Mostly I was satisfied with the amount of credits earned. Because all the credits I earn, obviously, are going towards the Zhao. So we're taking a look at another rank battle. Now, this is not a repeat of the same episode, <laughs> of the same video clip we just watched, rather. Uh, this is a separate vi or a separate replay, just so happens to be on the same map. So in the Magami again, obviously, on North as well. And just taking a look here at where the team is going to go, right, while we load up. Now, generally, I don't ask where to until the game actually loads, just to give everyone time to actually load in. Because uh, it doesn't always work that way. Now, in this situation, yep, once again, A. A is the plan for the map. Now, I like going A on this side, but I'm on this side of the map, and we'll, I'll talk about why. So, you can see where I'm positioning my boat, right? My ship, rather. When I am on this side and the, my team decides to go A, or even if they decide to go B, I will strafe along this line like this. Uh, gener or basically, I'm just driving diagonally towards uh, the B cap zone. I will eventually turn in though to the port, you can see it here, so that I'm coming in behind the island that's in between A and B. That is what my normal strategy on this map is, and I find it the best thing for me to do, or the thing that I'm most comfortable with, because uh, while I'm getting in close to A, not only am I going to be able to take shots off at any ships in behind A, like any enemy ships back there, but more importantly, I'm close enough to really do some damage to some enemy destroyers if they are dumb enough to come in here this close, right? So that is my plan, that's my thinking around this. Now, another thing that I've noticed, uh, especially with cruisers, right, because I was talking to Toad King yesterday, uh, he and I were playing some ranked battles as well, and he couldn't believe that I was using my Mogami. He, like he said, I mean, he has a Mogami as well, but he said, you know, it's just too hard to use, he can't do it. Um, he always uses either Battleship or Destroyer, and that generally what everyone uses as well. What I have found with cruisers in ranked battles, and eh, cruisers in general in any real battle, uh, to be frank, is if you are the first thing that the enemy spots, you will probably die fairly quickly, right? If the enemy spots you, you have no cover, yeah, you're probably going to die. Uh, you'll notice I fired off those torpedoes fairly close to my enemy or ally destroyer over there, so just only fired one to make sure that I didn't actually hit him. Um, but yeah, getting back to the cruiser thing, if you are the first one spotted on your team, you probably are going to die as a cruiser. Now, the detection range of a Mogami, mine is 12.1 kilometers, I believe. So with that in mind, while I'm getting into position, I don't want to fire my guns, no. I will let my battleships, let my other cruisers, allied ships start opening up so that they are detected before I am, and then I'll open up. Because it's very easy to focus down a Mogami. Very easy indeed. The trick is to let the, or to put yourself into position where the enemy can't focus you down, or they're just not focused on you because they have bigger issues, right? Or they think they have bigger issues anyway. Anyway, so you can see that we are still cruising around A, right? We haven't quite capped A. We did manage to take B. One of my destroyers went over there and took B, so kudos to that player. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, and now we're going to actually try and cap A. Because I went in, I did my whole little maneuver there at the beginning, like we discussed, going behind the island. Only saw one enemy destroyer. I put a few shots into him, but there wasn't anything else around. Now, granted, there is smoke up right now, so I can't see uh, too clearly, but there is an enemy Colorado in the background. All right. Now, Colorados are really, really easy to take down with a Mogami like this, especially at range. Uh, as long as the Colorado doesn't start firing at you and get lucky citadels on you, you should find that you are going to be able to, you know, quickly burn down the Colorado. Um, same thing with the New Mexico. What, what I think it is, is on these American battleships, is a lot of their AA guns, secondary batteries and whatnot, are all concentrated in that one middle section of the ship, right? Um, so if you just land shells into that section of the ship, you are going to do a lot of damage. 
<laughs> so there we go. I managed to get a few shots into the Colorado. He is on fire now. We can see the enemy destroyer, right? He's kind of putting pressure on the A point here. Enemies are starting to cap the B point. So we got to make a decision here. We need to hold A because we're not in a position to necessarily go over there and defend B. If our destroyer over there gets lucky and is actually able to take out the enemy ships who are capping, then good. If not, though, we want to be able to rely on A as being our primary point here to ensure that we're always increasing our um, cap points, I guess we'll call them. Now, enemy destroyer. So the Polish destroyer there that we were taking shots off at. Well, we're still taking shots at the Cleveland, but the Polish, or sorry, at the Colorado. But the Polish destroyer, you know, he wasn't dumb. He didn't just come out into the center of A. No, no, no. He didn't even actually go beyond his cover, which was really smart of him because I had my guns ready to go just to take that guy out. While all this was going on though, right, I still put shots into the Colorado and you can see that Colorado is down to about half health now. <laughs> so we're doing a bit of damage to this guy. Now out comes the enemy destroyer into A uh, to start capping it, right? Miracle happened at B and my friendly destroyer over there at B managed to kill the enemy ship that was contesting B so B is now under our control and gaining us caps points once again fantastic I'm circling around to continue to put pressure on a very very risky to do if you are making these turns like this and you do not have cover uh, to cover you on the turn in these turns this is the the this is the killer for the cruisers is when you're doing these turns um, so there's the enemy destroyer here comes some of my torpedoes fantastic he takes one floods to death and dies I get the kill excellent not too shabby at all. Enemy turrets in the background. We still have that enemy Colorado in the background. And then there are no more enemy destroyers because they are all dead now. So fantastic. Don't have to worry about them. We still have one destroyer. Our one destroyer is over there at B continuing to defend. Thank God for that guy. He played an excellent game. Well, he or she, I should say, played an excellent game. Excellent, excellent game. Afforded us the time to, um, you know maybe take our time in taking this A point, not necessarily having to rush in here, cap it and get out uh, while trading hit points to do so, right? We, we didn't have to do that, which was very, very nice because of the player at B. So fantastic, good job to you. Putting shots into the New Orleans now, you'll notice that he came out behind the island, so he's now the closest target to me. He had a broadside exposed to me, so I immediately start putting shots into him. Now he's turning to try and get away, so I'm gonna continue to put shots into him. The idea here is, set him on fire right obviously set him on fire try and get him gone um, it's not even a matter of like taking out his anti-aircraft guns because there are no aircraft carriers in this battle so that doesn't necessarily even matter um, but as long as I can set him on fire get some uh, start burning this guy down it'll be good because what I've noticed as well with the Mogami and generally with maybe not all ships but in, in most skirmishes we'll say you know, the point is, and a good player is not, uh, you know, not going to focus down, and when I say focus down, I mean like have blinders on, right, and just shoot at that one target the entire time until the target's dead. Yeah. I, I know it, it doesn't necessarily, may not make sense, but it, it's true, because if you want to preserve your health and if you want to live long enough, you are going to be taking shots off at targets of opportunity, trying to do as much damage as you possibly can while you are able to right and your team obviously then you know if if some enemy ship comes around expose a broadside your team will then focus that ship and focus that guy down but you're able you know to have enough situational awareness to realize that you should be switching targets as things are as the battle is progressing now the original target you were shooting at like for example my situation here the Colorado I've been shooting at this Colorado for a while now, but never with the intention of killing him, just the intention of doing as much damage as possible to get his hit points gone. And you can see that it's been working, right? Now the Colorado is at half health. So we don't have to worry about a full health Colorado. Instead, he's over there at half health. So when we do actually get to him, it'll be really easy to finish him off, right? And and that's what I mean by, you know, not necessarily not having blinders on right and just trying to shoot at the same target the whole time until that target's dead then switching targets that is generally not a good thing to do you're going to get so caught up in shooting at that one target that you will lose your situational awareness and potentially make mistakes that cost you your life and or the game so 
try to keep this in mind. Now, I am putting shots in the turpits. The turpits is on lowest uh, on the lowest health here, so we are going to try and get this guy burnt and gone. Uh, this is a situation where, yeah, I am going to try and get the kill here. There's another high caliber for myself, so that is not too shabby at all. Um, but yeah, I mean, because he's on such low health, he's in such a terrible position, to be frank, uh, is really easy for the rest of my team to come in here, focus the guy down, get him gone. So he's dead and gone. We have the Colorado remaining, and there is one enemy ship over there at B as well. So, now is the time to make decisions, right? Do I want to continue along, chase down the Colorado, and get him killed? In the meantime, we may lose A, because there is still a second enemy ship out there. Or do I want to just stay in A and defend it, waiting for the enemy ship to come, because I know the enemy ship is going to come, he has to come, and deal with him like that? Well... I do decide to actually stay in A until I see, you'll notice on the minimap, enemy ship popped up. He's behind B. Okay, alright, we don't need to stay in A to defend it. I'm going to start turning. We're going to go deal with that enemy. Of course, you know, in the meantime, putting shots in the Colorado, because the Colorado is almost dead. Um, the enemy is, in with, uh, is within range of my torpedoes, so we're going to try and get some sneaky torpedoes off, see if we can't get this guy gone. Uh, my allies managed to finish off the enemy Colorado, so he is gone. We don't need to worry about him. It is just this one enemy ship remaining that we need to deal with. So torpedoes are on their way out. Launch my scout plane to make sure that, I don't know, just because... <laughs> I know there's no other, no other enemy ships remaining, but uh, cooldown was done. Let's launch a scout. Get some Japanese air power up there, right? We can't see the enemy, but we know based on where we saw him last that he should be coming through the channel over here. There he is there. It's an Otago. He manages to avoid all my torpedoes. No big deal, though. Immediately, I'm going to start putting shots into the sky. Um, the rest of my team, right, my two other ally ships, are all focused on the Otago, obviously, because it's the only target remaining. So we don't necessarily have to worry about getting killed in this last few minutes. Now, if this was a battleship that I was facing off against, things would be different. <laughs> I wouldn't be so close, but um, whereas in Otago, I am confident that he cannot one-shot me. Um, so it's just a matter of, you know, putting shots into him, getting this guy burnt down, and winning our battle. The Otago is capping A, but it eh, doesn't matter. There we go. One of my friendly battleships manages to finish him off, and we win. And that's my second star in rank 11. Fantastic. <clears throat> Overall, 259,000 credits earned, 3,300 experience, high caliber, top of the team again. Not too shabby at all. Biggest thing for me is money earned, over 200000 after repairs and whatnot. So fantastic. Fantastic indeed. So that is today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, we're able to take a few things uh, from it as well, just to help you guys with your rank battles or even just your general gameplay as well. So again, you know, leave any comments you have for me in the video comment section below. Love reading those and responding back to them. Hit like if you did like today's video. Uh, hit subscribe if you are not a subscriber. And as always, folks, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day.